Okay, so here is another useful little item. Uh, in our last episode, we saw that our tunnel bore will go off mining and that's all well and good. Uh, but what happens when it goes off into a chunk that isn't loaded? Uh, of course it will stop working, and that is less than ideal. Now, Railcraft provides an item with which to, you know, keep that guy going, no matter how far away it is from you. And that is called the World Anchor. It is created like so, and that's all well and good. But of course it isn't in a cart yet, so how does it, you know, stick to it? Well, you know, you craft it up with your recipe, then you just put a nice little minecart underneath, there you go, you get the anchor cart. And of course, you know, you just link them up the same way that you normally do, and everything is fine in the world. Cool, right? Uh, and, you know, this is taking a lot longer for me to end up linking the cart, because it kind of got a little bit further than I thought it would. Uh, but that is what I get for, you know, linking it all the way, well, letting it get so far away. Ooh, and a tainted crystal. Very nice. Um, right. Now, I could have just turned on creative mode, that would have been cool. But either way, look at that. <laughs> it's made it quite a far away, and he's still going. We'll, uh, just check his, uh, thing for now. Uh, diamond boar head. Yep, almost used up all the tracks in there, and he's still got a good supply in there. He will be, uh, you know, just running off for a good long time, and uh, yeah, we won't have to worry about him, except for the fact when we have to go, you know, collect all the items and all that good stuff. But yeah, basically what the world anchor does is, you know, keep the piece of world loaded no matter how far away you are from it. So if I wanted to keep this area loaded, all I would have to do is just place him down, doesn't really matter where, and he will keep a certain amount of chunks loaded. I believe it is uh, nine chunks around this guy. Uh, hmm, hang on, I might just, uh, check that, just so that you guys have the right information. Okay, now I place him down, he will work to keep an area of 3x3 three three chunks loaded around this anchor, and, uh, yeah, that is just fine. So if you've got a lot of machines working, or if you want to, say, keep these guys, uh, producing stuff no matter how far away you are, like, you can see that this guy will take ages to turn stuff into cold coke. And of course this guy takes forever to do anything anyway. Yep, that's cool. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. Something else that you can do is push F12. Uh, it may not be F12 though. I've had a few troubles with this since I am using the Technic version. It may be F9, it might not be. Yeah. Um, basically what you're supposed to be able to do with this is push F12 or F9. And it will show you the chunks that it's trying to keep loaded. But of course, since I am using the Technic Pack, it kind of uh, gets a little bit angry at me. But yeah, see over here, we've got F9 set as uh, turn off and on chunk loader boundaries. And I push F9, it doesn't show up for me, but that might just be a, you know, a few conflicting things around there somewhere. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you have a positive or negative response, feel free to leave that down below. Otherwise, I hope that you're having a fantastic day. Ah, fantastic day, rather. <laughs> uh. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time.